Kusampa everybody, welcome to a brand new Yi getaway. We are in the south of Bhutan and this time we are in... And we are in Mara! We are in the jungles of Manas. I'm Pemsi and welcome to a brand new Yi getaway. Today I have with me, um, you take a guess. What's up people? Yes, we are here in the jungles of Manas and this is so my zone. I love the stories about the jungle, love the stories about the tigers and I'm not scared of snakes or creepy crawlers, you know? Well, I have some good news for you then. Yes. There's a spider on your neck. What? Well, the jungles of Manashu has a lot more to offer than just creepy colleagues. Now where did he go? Welcome to Manas. Also known as Bhutan's crown jewel, Manas represents the largest examples of tropical and subtropical ecosystems in Bhutan. Located in the south central region of Bhutan, Manas technically falls under Sarpong Zongka. But there are several Kengpa communities under Shemgang that reside in and around Manas region. To get to Manas, you have to take a 5-hour road trip to Gelifu via Tsirang. Stop by the Pickle Market along the highway at Burichu, right when you enter Tsirang district. If you're looking for a place to stay in Tsirang, especially on your way back, we recommend Dumfu Resort. In Gelifu, we stayed at Drummaling, the only TCB certified 3-star hotel in Gelifu, priced at Nildrum 1200 per night. On the second day of the trip, we take a 9-hour drive from Yelifu into Shemgang district and finally towards Banbang, the small Gyeok under Shemgang closest to the park of Manas. There are numerous cheap eco camps and homestays in Gongfu and Pantang areas in Manas. If you are looking for a unique accommodation, then the jungle lodge in Banbang is just for you. Initiated by the river guides of Banbang, the lodge has a unique blend of jungle safari look and a traditional Kengpa aesthetic. The river guides of Banbang is a community-based whitewater rafting company that specializes in ecotourism in Banbang. The Jungle Lodge is a dream project by the River Guides of Banbang that started in 2016. These elevated hut style lodges are cozy, comfortable, and can accommodate two people in each room. So let's go check it out. So the Jungle Lodge has around eight rooms of this tent hut style spaces and as you enter the room you have to leave your shoes outside and you also have an electrical outlet in case you want to charge your phone and your camera and you wake up to this gorgeous view of the riverside. We also enjoyed the food served at the lodge like the bamboo shoot soup, local fried chicken, a steamed pomfret surprise with local herbs. Yum! For more information, go to paddlebutan.com In your Manas travel itinerary, you have to include rafting to Manas Park, arranged by the river guides of Panbang at Niltrum 500 per head.
is like a magic carpet, right? So smooth, so nice, not a lot of wrappers also. So I think it's uh, very suitable for families and people who have kids. The main difference is the kind of volume Manas River has. So I think it, it's something a lot of people would enjoy. Yeah. After a delicious lunch near the riverside, we set off to visit the Royal Manas National Park. Designated as a wildlife sanctuary in 1996, Manas Park has the country's most exquisite bird, plant and animal species, making it one of the world's most biodiversity-rich sites. So if you find yourself close to Panbang, make sure you visit the site. The Royal National Manas Park is rich in wildlife species, including the highly endangered Royal Bengal Tiger. WWF and Bhutan's Nature Conservation Division jointly developed a five-year conservation management plan which includes training park staff and supporting biological and socio-economic surveys and park monitoring programs. The small park office compound also takes care of several wild animals like the doe and her fawn. We were also excited to find monkeys and wild squirrels in the park's neighborhood. But the best surprise were the four elephants of the park returning from grazing along the Indian Manas border. The park also offers elephant rides and bird watching activities along the special town nature trail. As you ride deeper into the trail, the path takes you into the thicker jungles of Manas and into the tropical wilderness. Okay, so another activity Manas has to offer is that you can wash the elephants and if you have your kids with you, it's going to be more fun. So Pemsi is already down there, they're already washing the elephants. I'm going to join them because I'm going to go wash myself an elephant now, bye bye! The Kang region in Shemgang has its own unique flavors and we were excited to try it directly from a Kangpa kitchen. With the abundant banana palm trees in the region, banana blossoms, also known as mochella in Kangka, is a local delicacy. The banana flower is peeled to extract the blossoms, which are soaked and then fried with onion, garlic and tomatoes. Add some cottage cheese and the kengpa mochella dish is done. So we are here in the Kang region of Bhutan and tonight, tonight we are going to try some special local drink which is called Tongba. Tanya 
Jagi Sabbe and Sigi, Kimlo Anila Tambila, Ponsa, Tongpa de Rada. You see me mole, as he looks very in the house. Here comes Ma. This looks so nice. Machigi, the chairs bet on the Caribbean, sir. On the chairs bet on the and the number two name, less number two name, and the Machigani, and the Chego Bola. Such an invasional and a bear. The land and recently, and again, less suck bimba, less of the land is such an idea. Oh, you have to. I think this is like Andy, um, uh, can't you some of my opinion? Yeah, so this is like, um, offering to the gods. So, okay, so this is me offering to the gods. Thank you for such a lovely time in Manas, such a lovely time in Panbang, meeting lovely people, having a lovely drink. What more can I ask for? So this is oh, oh so our way of celebrating a drink is much more cooler. So let's go, sir. Let's go. Ah. Oh my. So strong. Who will do this? Will please give me love, man. Mabra last day the meal, na 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 bhathe the mabra chhantu me in sila bisna me chhanda ambe be lam phangi ida ronga chikka ge me lam na. Sathi be maju me le sir. One of the highlights of our stay in Manas was swimming in the freshwater stream alongside the schools of juvenile fish that haven't matured enough to join the main river. The best time for this experience is in early spring. Banbang is a quiet, beautiful region, so explore the place on a bike. The Jungle Lodge arranges bike rides for interested guests. Pleasant warm breeze and a stunning eco trail create an enjoyable, unforgettable ride. Traveling is when you embrace everything that comes your way. Be open to new thrilling adventures. Listen to the stories of different communities with unique cultures. Open your taste buds to new food and cuisines. But most of all, open your heart to the idea of a whole new getaway.